Hello guys and welcome to another video. This one I'm going to be talking about end of dungeon slash end of gauntlet rewards. And those are the rewards that you can receive after completing a dungeon. So they're found on the completed screen of dungeons. So these items include... And I'll rank them in my personal preference of priority. They include the Band of Gods, which you get from the quest line, the official quest line. So if yours is like this, you have everything unlocked. If yours is not like this and you have quests inside here, um, I think it, the quest is called the Unfelled. That is the quest. That whole quest line unlocks a few end of dungeon rewards. So that quest line unlocks Band of Gods, as I said. That quest line also unlocks the Mammon Sword, which it can be good in higher qualities, but it isn't really a priority. And it unlocks the Unfelled Concord, which honestly, the Unfelled Concord is probably even better to have early game than even the the band of gods because band of gods a proper quality band of gods comes in to play when you are more experienced at doing orn activities orn related or xp related activities whereas your unfilled concord getting the first and then the second one will reduce your dungeon cooldowns by a lot so in the normal dungeons the cooldowns are six hours for this just a normal party but with one concord it is dropped to three hours and with two concords it is dropped to one hour now the quality of the concord does not matter i guess i should show you guys the items and i think you guys should have an idea of some of the items so the concord and the the band of gods are accessories the mammon sword is an offhand i'm not sure if i have any in here okay so i do it's an offhand it has some stats on it and it also gives view distance as well so the concords give view distance the mammon sword gives view distance but there are better view distance weapons than the mammon sword Another great end of quest, end of dungeon, I mean, reward, end of gauntlet reward, is the Old Northern Crown. And that comes from the NPC quest, Boar. So, I'm not sure if I have the NPC here, actually. I do not, but the NPC Boar, I am going to recommend that you look him up. He requires about four different crowns. Just look up the quest and as soon as you are tier 10, you are able to unlock that quest. And once you have done the quest, you now unlock the, the All Northern Crown in your End of Dungeon Rewards. So how I farm End of Dungeon Rewards is by going into these dungeons that have extra items upon completion. Because the items they are referring to are the end of dungeon rewards as well as um no they're referring to the end of dungeon rewards i'm not going to confuse you with anything else so this spot has two underworld portals and two battlegrounds and underworld portals are also ones that have the extra items up on completion and hard mode makes it so that you get the items in a superior plus quality so I hope I've been clear this whole time. If I have not, please explain to me where I was unclear in the comments and I will try to clear that up. So the best way after unlocking these items to get these items is doing these dungeons. You don't have to do them hard mode to get it, but you have to do it hard mode to get it in superior plus quality. And you know that for the Band of Gods, 
you get additional bonuses for the quality for the concord you get an additional lock bonus there is no additional view distance bonus for the old northern crown you want that as high a percentage as possible that crown is amazing at 200 it is amazing at 150 honestly the mammon sword is something that is mm, it was worse than it is now but it is a bit useful now and i think persons are more inclined to try it out in builds before though it was a harder one to care about but i think it is a lot better than it was now i'm going to do one dungeon and show you the end of dungeon screen that i am talking about and that will be the end of this video so my favorite thing to do with the items is probably what i'll go through right now so i like to do orn endless with the 25 percent accessory amity with my band of gods so i extremely and desperately need a better quality second band of gods i have one ornate and one famed i want two ornates they claim that master forge and demon forge are also a possibility i have never seen them before so i do not believe that i love the old northern crown for tankier builds it is really good and it has it has like you can't get your attack brought down you're at, you cannot get um the 20 percent attack down so that is attack down plus one the the unfelt concord is a luck bonus but luck cap so early that i don't really care about a quality unfelt concord because i use one concord plus one lugas to carry and i've seen i've seen it work wonders so my main objective is to get a better old northern crown or a better band of gods yes <laughs> so that's pretty much it and you just do these as i said if you want a superior quality one you're going to need to do it in hard mode you can do any dungeon in hard mode and get it by the way it isn't just these two types of dungeons these two types i think valley of the gods also offers at the end are the only three types though that offer additional no i think chaos also offers it because the ones that offer it have a, a fee of 100 keys so that's how i know and then valley of the gods is 400 keys for the hard mode so that's how i know for sure but stuff like dragon roosts or even beast dens or mystic caves you can get the end of dungeon rewards from them you just won't get any extra slots at uh, any extra chances at end of dungeon rewards and uh, if you are doing those hard mode those are a lot easier on the key consumption so yeah let's see if we can knock this out fast if i stop missing that'd be cool i have on something i'm trying to god for it. so this is not my real carry build but i'm kind of tired of well these are my kingdom mates so i don't mind carrying them but i'm kind of tired of carrying the same people all the time who never want to carry but are capable of carrying most of my kingdom mates my newer ones oh no cannot carry but i have some stronger ones who can and they do a lot in my server though there are always some persons who are trying to be carried they think they're the only ones who have stuff that want to be god forged and i think i might start just carrying my kingdom mates more Granted, I will carry my viewers a lot, so if you are coming over to my server from my videos and you tell me that, I'm obviously going to be trying to carry and trying to help you. But I just wanted to be 
a role that persons volunteer for and carrying people is something that is reciprocated it should never be just one person doing it all the time and it's beginning to feel like that but we're almost at the end of this and i'll show you the extra dungeon rewards that i might get so it's not a sure thing either this is probably another thing i should have said it's not a sure thing to get extra dungeon rewards it is just more likely so yeah I hope this one was a good one, guys, and I thank you guys for watching. I would say you can pause on this screen right now, and you see I got an ornate Nolan staff. I'm not even sure if that was an end of dungeon reward or what, but we can be sure that it is trash. Fire pack is an end of dungeon reward, and so is Carl's Ring. Both garbage, but you'll notice both above the superior quality because that was a hard mode. Thank you.